Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Barbara. Welcome to my channel. I am going to show you how I transformed this candy cane that it's like three feet, maybe 3.5 feet big. I show you a picture there. And I, I, I don't really like the tensile. Like the white tensile doesn't really bother me, but the, like the red burgundy that I call it, it does bother me. So I took it all out and it was kind of hard to do it. I speed it up quite a bit because I am very, very like, I like things pretty fast. <laughs> Anyways, I bought those two yarns from, from Hobby Lobby. I got them 30% off and I love them and started using those for that. I put them in those balls so that they won't fall off my little table that I work with which is not that big but it's working for now hopefully one day I'll have my craft room which is my dream as for, for now <laughs> and then I start doing it on the bottom part of the candy cane um, um, I don't know thing <laughs> I use that high temp what is that uh, glue 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 gun and I start with the red because that's the bottom. So if you're going to stand it up anywhere, it's going to get dirty. So don't start with the white one because of that. So I start gluing it like that. And then I start gluing the white one, as you can see, like that. But I, I am really, I'm sorry, I'm at the mechanic right now. And I said, let me do something productive. I already have this video going. And I just have to do the voiceover. So let me start just doing something productive because you know i i work and i sometimes can't find the time to to do this voiceover so if you hear weird noises it's because i'm in the mechanic right now anyways uh, let me keep going i don't know how long this is gonna take meanwhile i'm gonna make this voiceover with you guys tmi is always sorry <laughs> so i figure it was easier to start from the bottom because instead of moving the the yarn I move the the little um, you know plastic thingy there as as you can see there but I am definitely gluing every single bit of that yarn because I don't want it to move around to be very very well um, glued in there and that's how I'm doing it and then I turn it around and that is the hard part of it my goodness that is really really hard Ugh. and I start gluing it around as well but it was hard not gonna lie and you guys at the end i am going to in insert the other uh, diys i've made uh, i think i made them last year they're cookies i don't even know what to call them anymore one of them looks like a i try to make it like a cookie it's a, like a tree but it's it's more like a, my my husband said it looked like a, one of those uh, ice cream sandwiches <laughs> <laughs> you'll see you'll see but anyways um this is the end and i cut it out because it was easier and because i'm going to be finishing it up right now so i am gluing around it and inside inside right inside so i could but it, that was too long i cut it too long so i i cut it again and then i shove it in there <laughs> and that's it and that is it it looks easy and fast but this took me I don't know maybe an hour to make but of course I am speeding it for you because I don't want to bore you with the whole process but I did both of them as you can see I did both of them and I was trying to um, find out a place to put them look all the yarn I have left you guys so I figure I would do something else without yarn and I bought those things at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna start by taking that off and I thought should I take the white thing off and I said nah I guess it won't bother it would actually be a good thing to have it on so I start doing the same exact same thing gluing the the yarn to that and I start going around it and I think I really like that and you guys I have got to admit this is not my idea it's um oh god i don't know her name but um, you know what i'm gonna pop in her her channel here i like her a lot she's she's done some diys as well and she suggests doing that in one of her hauls she said she wanted to do that and i said wait a minute that is a really good idea so 
I took her her idea. <laughs> I, I'll probably tell her that I took her. Oh, she watches my channel. So, hey girl, I took your idea. <laughs> uh, but thank you for giving me that idea. And uh, now I'm sharing it with you. And and the reason why I did it too is because I had a lot of yarn left, you guys. And I had to make a use of it, right? So I decided to do it on this this particular one. And then on the other one as well. On the on the like foamy one. How do you call that? I don't even know how you call that, you guys. But I decided to do the same thing on the other one. And uh, I definitely like this one better. You're going to have to wait and see the other one. Because this one might be bigger. And I'm gluing out the... the very, I'm sorry I'm off frame, you guys. But sometimes you have to, you know, have things closer to you in order to see that you're doing a good job. And closer to me is like off frame. You can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> then when I remember, I pull it back inside, like in the middle. Or at least try to. Oh my goodness, I really enjoy doing DIYs, you guys. I just, it's so hard to find the time. And not only that, but the editing part, ooh, it takes hours to edit a DIY. So mm, my respects to all those DIYers. You see them, but that took hours to record, first of all. To record, it takes hours. And then to edit, more hours. It's, it's really, really consuming job you guys but look look at it i thought about doing the back but i think that nah, if you pull it against a wall or for decoration or in your tree nobody will see the other side so it's fine so now i'm showing you how to do it on this one and i was gonna do both but since i didn't like it i guess i didn't like it because the yarn was too thick and i tried searching for uh well i did one of this thick yarn for my for my um candy canes but for this one particularly i wanted a thinner yarn but it was so expensive and i don't remember where i where i saw it i think i saw it at joan's because i didn't find it at hobby lobby uh, the the skinnier version of this yarn but i did find the thicker one and um anyways this is let's jump on to the <laughs> this is bamboo um, so I show you there. I, I can't remember you guys, but I think you put the meat inside it So I thought should I paint this and then I remember I just purchased this this candy cane tape From the thrift store and I definitely said this is so much easier than painting it and may, maybe doing the lines and nah, never mind Let me just use this candy cane um, duct tape, which if I line it up perfectly well, it would look really nice really good and i am showing you there how i'm lining it up so that it would look like a continuation of of the lines in there i'm sorry i, I really i'm really not good at explaining but that's what i did as you can see over there and that's why i love to buy things um in the in the thrift store because you never know when you're really gonna need them and you know you save yourself some more work that you would otherwise do like painting it <laughs> but i i really like how it came out so over here i'm doing the end of the of this wood stick or is it bamboo i don't remember you guys and i'm not at home to check it out but i'm sorry you hear my mechanic out there screaming <laughs> by the way this mechanic's been with me or i i've I have been with this mechanic for a long long time um, he's funny <laughs> he's really funny and he's a good mechanic so I'm getting to the end of this little um, video that I've made well this actually I have just made this year and you know when while I'm doing this um, th my video is like stopping I hope when I stop recording my voice um, this will actually work and look better but i don't know anyways um so i'm cutting everything right now and uh putting the stick inside my candy cane my no that's not a candy cane what is that yeah it's a it's a candy uh peppermint candy i lollipop oh my goodness <laughs> okay 
peppermint lollipop and this is the end result what do you guys think do you like it please let me know if you like it would really like to know and then i am going to what are, what is next i don't remember oh my goodness let me wait to see what's next <laughs> oh um this little guy i as i told you don't like that tinsel so i'm taking it i'm i'm ripping it off because i'm going to change it for this little like i don't know yarn i don't even know but i bought that at dollar tree and i'm going to wrap it all around and that's that's all i'm gonna do with this little guy with this gingerbread man i was thinking i should have bought a gingerbread girl huh no no they both have a hat so how would i make it a gingerbread girl anyways you know what if i do some eyelashes but then the bow is what makes it different or maybe a dress nah nah it's fine let's just stick with the gingerbread men <laughs> and that's what i do wrapping 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 that around and around and <clears throat> that's all <laughs> okay now I'm going to show you the DIYs I made last year with music.
Okay, I'm back guys. <laughs> this one doesn't have music, so I'm going to make a little voiceover. So those are window clings from last year. And I am using that um, paint, I'm painting it uh, white first and then I paint it blue. But um, I think I get it dirty, so I'm starting to clean it off <laughs> at the end, as you can see. Then I'm putting Mod Podge because I made another video of window clings it's vintage vintage um it, i don't remember the name you guys so anyways um that one i did but i did not put mod patch on top and and they came they fell off so if you guys are using window clings i suggest using mod patch um on top to seal it off this is not one of my favorites but i really wanted to use them and then i added some of those 
Oh, I don't even know what that is, you guys. I, I did this a year ago, so I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but I just wanted to um, add it in here so that you could see the things that you could do. And maybe you, you like this. I gave this to my auntie because she really liked it. So I, I took it to her house. Yeah, that's it. And I, I always like to, to use my ribbon like that. I think it looks nice. And then I make a little bow. And I really, this one they still have this year, you guys. That um, like candy cane ribbon. I love it. I had to get another one this year. I think I only got one. But I don't, I don't know. I really, really like this one. And that's it. What do you guys think? You like it? That's the end result. This house I bought last year at Michael's. 40% um, off, I believe. I paid like $7 or 9 I don't remember, you guys. But I wanted a big gingerbread house. And that's what I made. But then I, I didn't... Oh, you know what? I'll just let the music play. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so we've come to the end, and I want to know which one was your favorite. Please let me know. I want to know. I This is like chocolate cookies, I guess. <laughs> That's what I call them. But uh, gingerbread house, gingerbread train. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.